I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. Today, we're going to learn about combining like terms, and we want to simplify each expression. So, if I was given this expression, n plus 4 minus 9 minus 5n. So, n plus 4 minus 9 minus 5n. Well, the way I like to see this is I like to rewrite all my subtractions as adding a negative so that I can rearrange easier. So, I'm going to do that n plus 4, instead of minus 9, it's adding a negative 9, and instead of minus 5n, it's adding a negative 5n. So now I'm going to rearrange to put our like terms next to each other. So basically, I'm just putting the negative 5n right here. So we have n plus a negative 5n plus 4 plus a negative 9, okay? Well, next step here, <clears throat> I know that adding, so let's double check, make sure I have all the parts actually, n is right here, 4 is right there, negative 9 is right there, and negative 5 ends right there. Okay, I've rearranged everything. I didn't lose any uh, terms on the way. Okay, so now we know that n plus a negative 5 n, that's, well, adding a negative, same thing as subtraction. So I can rewrite that to be n minus 5 n, and then I bring down the plus 4, and this one here I can rearrange. Well, actually, instead of writing the plus 4, instead of re rewriting that, plus 4 here, okay? I want to think about what, is there any way I can maybe rearrange this or do something that makes it easier. Well, instead of uh, just writing the plus 4, okay, I know it's 4 plus a negative 9. I, well, what if I rewrote that instead of adding a negative just to be, well, subtraction? So I'm going to keep the 4, I just don't want to get ahead of myself. Um, minus 9 in that case, okay? Well, hmm, what's n minus 5n? That's tricky, and then 4 minus 9. So let's look at a little number line here. If we're given n, or just 1n, right, and here's 0, and we want to go to the left 5 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And so n minus 5n, if we start here and move to the left, uh, minus 5 units, we get to a value of negative 4. So we have here n minus 5n is negative 4n. And we're going to do the same thing with this uh, 4 minus 9, right? So we start with 4 here. We know at 0, that's 4 units, right? Minus 4 units gets us to 0, so a little different method than we did here. Then I need to go, well, 5 more units get a total of 9. So if I go 5 more units at minus 5, so minus 5, this gives me a grand total of minus 9. So negative 5 is where if I go 4, minus 9 gets me to negative 5. So we have a negative 5 down here. Okay. Well, let's uh, make this a little nice and neater. Negative 4n plus a negative 5n, adding a negative, same thing as subtraction. So we have negative 4n minus 5, and that is our final answer. Okay. Ah, long problem. So let's recap. We have n plus 4 minus 9 minus 5n. Okay. Well, I, instead of writing subtraction, I added a negative. So every single time I saw add a uh, minus, I added a negative. So I added plus a negative 9 and plus a negative 5n. Now I rearrange using the commutative property to write n plus negative 5n plus 4 plus negative 9 and double check that oh, yeah, all my ducks are in a row here. Okay. Well, I <laughs> put it back to be subtractions that add a negative make it subtraction. Okay. So n minus 5n plus 4 minus 9. Well, n minus 5n, I use the kind of number, um, the number line here to help me out here. Minus 5 units got me to negative 4. So n minus 5n, 1 minus uh, 5 is the same thing as uh, negative, or n minus 5n, which is negative 4n. Brought down the plus sign. Now we have 4 minus 9. Same process, but instead of doing every single tick mark, I kind of jumped. So if minus 4 units got me to 0, and minus another 5 units gave me to negative 5, which gave me a grand total of negative 9. So we have plus and negative 5 now, which is our end, end point here. Well, adding a negative, same thing as subtraction, and that looks nicer. So our final answer here is negative 4n minus 5. 